Welcome back to another episode of Out There Living. On this episode of Out There Living, we convert this here drop down picnic table into a pantry. Now we've bought a bigger picnic table and it's 800 by 400 roughly, a lot bigger than the one that's on there. Um, I didn't realise when I bought it but it does have a removable backing piece so it's going to be perfect for what we need. We will hang on to this backing piece just so we can slide it in during transit just for a bit of extra um, dust protection. So it's got the lockable arms on it, a couple of moulded cup trays, but it's a nice solid frame on it, it's going to be perfect. So we'll head into the van, I'll show you what we've done. So we've had all the electrical stuff removed and isolated, and we'll get the electrician back in to wire it up when we're finished. All the 12 volt, everything's been isolated. So how we're going to achieve this pantry by getting the space behind there, we're going to slide the whole box forward about 100 mil to about there. We're going to remove this cushion, throw that out of the way for now, we'll use it later. We'll get this cushion and we'll sit this at the front. So we've gained the thickness of a cushion, if you have a look here, 70 mil, 75 mil roughly. So. Then we'll slide this forward, that'll go to there, and then this big cushion will actually sit there, behind there. So you don't need to buy any new upholstery or cushions, all you've got to do is just, all you've got to do is just move some Velcro. So we'll have a look in behind here now. Now that's the pantry space. As you can see, it's quite a big space. Um, little gap there and we're just getting a bit of um, laminex made up the same color as the van this brown color here to go in here and one short one for the other side so as you can see it doesn't really intrude hell of a lot more than what it did already and you're still gaining so much worth there so yeah well get cracking it on the outside and start some work. So we're going to start by drilling out these pot rivets, break the silicon bead around the outside. We'll also remove this TV point here. Now a handy tip for getting these little rivet heads off, bang your drill in reverse. Put it in the core hammer like that, and off it comes. Having a few, bit of trouble with a few of these rivets, uh, you just got to basically pop the head off the shaft and away you go. Now, I've had a couple of rivets I didn't want to play the game. You can see here, they just flogged out. So, all I do with them is I get nasty. Just pop them off with the chisel. Like that. It's going to be messy, but at the end of the day, we're cutting a big hole. So, we can probably hide it and try hard enough. So, might just pop off, or you might have to break the silicon. You can use a Stanley knife or whatever you like. Now we've got everything off that we need to get off. TV bracket, antenna point, couple of um, button heads there, and the picnic table. Now that was really hard to get out. Load of silicon on it, actually broke it trying to get it off. So what we're gonna do now is position this where we want it. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go hard to that, and it covers everything that we've pulled off there. So what we'll do is go up to the top of that, mark it out. Just 
just have a look, try and square it up or something. To me, it looks a bit high at this end, so we'll just measure that. So what you want to do is get a drill and just run some test holes to make sure it's going to come through on the inside where you want it to. So we're going to head in here. We'll actually move all this out of the way so we can see what's going on. This box can come all the way forward. And that's where our pantry is going to sit. Perfect. So we'll go out and start cutting the hole. We're going to drill four holes in each corner and just cut between them with a grinder. Now if you can, you only want to try go through the outer skin, drill from the other way. Now we've cut the the hole and there's a few interesting things that I've found. If you have a look in here, there's a lot of grind marks from when this caravan was made and it's already gone rusty because nothing has been galled. See, look at this. Rusty already. Um, chassis and the frame's gonna surely gonna rust out before too long. So yeah, very interesting. You look in there. Rust spots up here. On here. You know all that dirty welding they've done. So we've got the external plating off. Removed all the foam. As you can see, we've got a bit of framework here we're gonna to have to deal with. What I'll probably do is cut the uh, horizontal ones out, and leave the vertical, just shelf around them. So we'll go inside and cut the internal plating out. If you have a look here, what you can see is we've actually hit a wire for this uh, clearance light. It's actually just tucked in behind the cladding there. So I don't know if that's normal practice, but um, you were always going to hit that no matter what you did. Didn't have much of a chance. There you can see, got one big hole. Left our uprights because they'll go up and support the roof. Horizontals, not as important. You can come out looking here, it's still a bit messy. Use this to protect the sparks. And that's our hole that'll come through into our pantry. Now it's just a matter of tidying up the holes. Maybe file it back a little bit straighter. And put some sort of edge on it. Maybe a little bit of aluminium angle or something. You know, just to tidy it up, paint it white. Um, cover it up, seal everything. Uh, we'll go to Clark Rubber or something and we'll look at getting a seal and we'll cover these up with the cabinetry or whatever and if you look in here there's a little bit of a gap in there all we'll do is just file back that edge so since that last bit of footage where we cut the hole and put the picnic table in we've actually installed the pantry had all the wiring ready connected um, so we'll have a quick look at that and then I'll run you through what we did on the inside. Here you go, you've got your picnic table. It's a larger size than the standard. Um, much more versatile. It's got two locks on it there. We've put the pinch root weld rubber seal all the way around and that's really firm, doesn't get any dust in it. Got two shelves there and double pole power point for when you're hooked into mains and then you've got your single for when you're on the inverter then in here you've got a 12 volt cigarette plug and um, dual usb point so up in here you can see it's just a little shelf in there you can jam tea towels or whatever you want in there um, behind here is that steel frame if you look in the earlier footage we just covered it up with a couple bits of angle. And then over here, 
two there was some framework so we just covered that up with a bit of uh, glossy black uh, aluminium siliconed all around the outside um, it's not as neat as I would have liked it but I did find that this caravan had a massive cup in the wall um, probably due to poor quality of the steel work I'm guessing so this edge here if you look under there it's white aluminium angle so we just put a bit along here top and bottom um, and you can see up the back there bit up there and the shelf just sits on top on top of this one and on top of this one there you go and we repeated the process at the top now I'll see if I can get this seal off here so we can show you what we've done um, there we go so we'll just use angle around there had a little gap in it and then another piece of angle here and then this seal just pushes in and it is quite tough to push in so we'll have a look down the bottom here there you go so this angle just sits up and then that angle there seals around the frame got this little gap here the seal there it's got a groove in it you just slide it over and away you go Bob Girani so the reason we've boxed around here um, we wanted to put these power points in but you can't by um, law be able to reach around and touch the back of the power point so we've boxed that in and we thought we'd utilize that we put the 12 volt power in there um, and now that's up to, spe up to spec up to scratch with the energy save laws so the good thing about this pantry we've made it to fit these um, tubs you get from the supermarket and you can stack them all up and slide them up the end there and then you just slide them out when you need them so we'll take a quick look inside so to construct this we've just used malamine 16 mil malamine um, white aluminium composite panel it's black on the opposite side a lot of uh, black and white silicon we got these two ends the cupboard the bunk edge and this cupboard here made up at a cabinet maker um, so it was just bolt in and that was right on about 700 bucks so probably the most expensive bit so it starts with a back piece here which is just malamime and then there's malamime shelves nailed in there um, that's just fixed down the bottom here with some aluminium angle that I've cut into short brackets I've reapplied that velcro and then this end board is screwed into that backing board in four spots and glued and the same up this end and then sitting on top of this board that runs through here where all them nail holes are we've just put a bit of white uh, aluminium composite panel to tidy that up uh, in here you've got a screw going through in there to hold this seat edge in place um, might look a bit rough this white malamine I've just reused it it's um, it's a packing sheet so it's a little bit rough but the end of the day that's what it's gonna look like so um, I'm happy with that it's reasonably neat so we'll come out here this is the backing piece we were just looking at the other side and down here it's actually got a bit of the white aluminium composite um, around just glued to the back of the, the seat box that we looked at earlier and there you go nice big shelf in the top there we've had the inverter and the power point put back in and the 12 volt points and yeah as you can see push that that seat in that much doesn't really doesn't really intrude too much on the space in here there you go 
that much we've pushed it forward. Uh, relocated the awning switch there. That's uh, just a bit neater. Got a custom bracket there and a toggle. And we painted the floor light black because that was white. It looked pretty, it stood out like a set of bull's nuts. Um, and we've added an aftermarket fire extinguisher there because the one in them, they're no good. They're just like a water pistol. We've put the Chinese diesel heater in and it comes out this cupboard here. There's the vent. And I just got puddle flan from Bunnings, uh, the plumbing section, and painted that black. And built a little box around that vent in there. And we might just tidy that up with a bit of vinyl paint or wrap or something. Um, just make it look a bit neater. But from the outside, that looks pretty good. The reason we come out there was because the most logical spot to put the diesel heater was in this tunnel boot. Still get our long poles down there, down that side. Um, and we just sit them on top of that diesel heater. I might put a bit of a shelf over the top of that just to protect it. Um, and there's that where the pipe comes through. If you look under there, there's the exhaust coming out the bottom of the diesel heater there. And a fuel pump runs along there little fuel filter there and up into the fuel tank which is here behind the gas bottle and this little diesel heater hasn't missed a beat five kilowatt about 180 dollars for a caravan this size don't need anything else so while we we're going um, doing the mods we added some extra storage and a few, few bits and pieces in so we've added this cupboard here in we got a cabinet maker to make that up. Um, we got this bench top from down here. Just put it on top. Um, it's not an awesome join, but you're hardly ever gonna see it. It's up on top. You're gonna have things sitting on there all the time. And then we'll come over to here. Um, we got this cupboard here made up. Um, it's just got adjustable shelves in it. Probably fix them in with some brackets and I just grabbed these latches off eBay. Uh, over here you've got your bunk edge. If anyone watched the bunk modification episode, this is the something special I was talking about, just to tidy it up. And it's raised up there for the pillow end, keeps all the pillow from falling down. And then we'll just get a little ladder to hook over there so the kids can climb up. If you look up there now, that's quite a big bunk up the shoulder end. Um, down here, you might think it's a little bit pokey, but I'll climb in here and show you. So we've got, we relocated the fan and the 12 volt outlet. Got a USB point there, what we added in where the lamp used to be. And we relocated that up to the top. Um, this has got a lamp up this end. And if you look in here, it's about the size of a, um, like a king single swag. So, you know, an adult can still sleep in here. I can get in here, no worries. Um, laying down, you know, I'm right on six foot and I've got just a little bit of foot room. So there you have it. We've installed the pantry, a couple cupboards and a bunk edge. Um, if you want to know any more about what we've done, just hit us up in the comments. We can get into more detail. Um, Oh, all this stuff here I got at Bunnings, apart from all the cabinetry, I went just went to a local cabinet maker and got that made up. Um, the white aluminium you can get there, the composite aluminium panel you can get there, um, all your silicon screws. I uh, did have trouble getting coloured screws from Bunnings, so I just had to paint them myself. And I would suggest, although I say it's DIY, if you don't have a good array of tools and a few skills, probably um, Get some help doing it before you lunge in or um, yeah, look at going and, and getting a quote to get someone else to do it because you could end up with a big hole in your caravan or cutting through something that you probably shouldn't cut through. So although it is DIY, just yeah, make sure you've got all the right tools and, and skills to do it before you start. All right, thanks for watching. Hooroo.